and looking ahead for, as well for Wigan, Wigan fans and, and Owen Coyle appointment there. I mean, you've you've played under him. What's he like as a manager? Very good, very good. He's um, you know his his man management is terrific. Um, he, he's got this this aura about him at the training ground where he gets the best out of his players. I worked with him at Burnley and he was he was terrific. He was great with his senior players. He you know he, he spent a lot of time and. Uh, a lot of time talking and, and a lot of respect with his senior players. Um, he joined in training nearly every day because he's still fit enough to be able to do that, which was uh, which was good to kick him a couple of times when you weren't in the team. So, um, but no, he's um, he, he's, a, he's a good manager. He's a very good manager. It's uh, it's a good fit, I think, for him, Wigan and Owen Coyle. Um, I think I think they've they've bought well pre-season. I like some of the signings that they've made. I like Fortune and uh, Grant Holt that they've made. Uh, Christmas Can, obviously, who I play with at Burnley. Good players, good championship players, and um, I'm sure they'll do very well. It's a it's a kind of strange job for him because obviously Wigan got relegated but won the FA Cup. So there's a there's good good and bad side to last season. So I mean. What kind of pressure do you think he'll be under to deliver? Is it he has to get out of the league? Do you think this year? Well, I think the chairman, I think Dave Whelan's come out straight away and said, "Listen, it's you know we've got to get promoted," um, and he certainly backed him in the transfer market by the number of signings that he's made. Um, James Perch, obviously Scott Carson, so they've they've bolstered up a defence that that may be needed bolstering. At the same time, they've kept the likes of McManaman, and Maloney, and McCarthy, and McCarthy, who, who for me are the four best players for Wigan. Uh, terrific players going forward and. If they can keep those those type of players, uh, and like I said, they've added a little bit of steel uh, to the Wigan defence, uh, the back line, um, I'm sure they'll be up there. You know, the expectation levels of winning the FA Cup uh, and the type of football that they played. And I think they were everybody's second favourite team last year. They, some of the football was was fantastic. I mean, I was at Goodison Park when they beat Everton in the FA Cup um, quarter final, and it was some display on the day. It really was, and uh, I, I, actually, that performance might have got. You know, Roberto the job at Everton uh, purely and simply after that that performance, and going forward they were they were, they've got some really good attacking players. But I like the way Owens, he's, he's he's gone about getting a little bit of steel into his midfield, into his back line. He's, he brought Scott Carson in as well, who's a, who's a top keeper. So uh, I, I think they'll do well. I, th I really do. I think they'll I think they'll be right up there challenging. Um, I think if they're there or thereabouts, they they might be able to spend again in January to just bolster them up, and uh, I, I would expect them to be there. It comes at a. It's quite unusual to have a community shield with a, a team in the championship um, this time around. It comes at a, a strange time for them because they'll have started the league and then they've got this game and then obviously they've got another game straight after. How will they take? How will they approach it? I think they'll. I think they'll want to win the game. I know Owen Coyle as a, as a man and um, he's a winner and he and he wants to win and he'll look at it as a big scalp to to get one over in Man United. So they'll, you know. The be all and end all for Wigan this year will be the league without a shadow of a doubt. But you know, it, it's it's a game. It's a game that's that's televised. It's a it's a Wembley appearance, and uh, you know, if I was a Wigan player, I'd be absolutely rubbing my hands together. I'd be really looking forward to it, as I'm sure Owen Coyle and his staff will be when when he looks at you know, across at the Man United bench, thinking you know we're taking on Man United at Wembley in a cup final. So you know that's great for him as well to to get a you know an early notch on his belt, and and and, and for him to get that sort of togetherness with the fans as well early on in the season so listen I think it'll be a good game and uh, Wigan won't be won't be there just to make up the numbers they'll have a right go and um, if I know Owen Coyle the way I do you know they, he'll be expecting to win.